Trace by Pat Cummings. This is a horror paranormal book. Chapter one, car door. Green water was rising, crawling, clawing up his legs. Not again, and that smell, too green, too deep, too river. Long fingered water pulled at his knees, inching up now, almost gingerly tugging at his waist. The car door would not open. What? Was mom talking to him? Silence. But no, her lips were moving. Was she praying? He didn't dare answer. Could not chance opening his mouth. Warm water was lapping at his chin softly, greedily. And her eyes, he felt sick for her. Water was filling her eyes too, turning them that awful shade of green. Car door. And dad, just banging, banging, banging the stupid windows. Kicking glass that wouldn't break. Too late now, those dark hands had found him again, pulled his slippery arms again. No, missed her. Clammy fingers were slipping along the edges of his lips now, trying to tease them open. Car door. It wouldn't open. Water flooded his mouth. Missed her. Car door. Mr. Carter. Huh? Trace jerked awake, away from a sharp punch at his back. He struggled to place himself. Class. Mrs. Weaver, hand on one hip, looming over his desk, waiting for an, ans for an answer to something. This is the story, the story of Trace. In the glow of the red light, Trace saw the boy's dark eyes shiny with tears. But as the doors closed, what he also saw, what he could not have really seen, were the books on the shelf behind the boy. The little boy was looking right at him and Trace was seeing right through him. Trace Carter does not feel at ease in his new life in New York City. Even though Aunt Leah is cool and a brownstone just isn't home. After his parents' deadly accident, the best he can do is try to distract himself. But the past isn't done with him. When Trace wakes, takes a long turn, in the New York Public Library, he finds someone else lost in the stacks with him, a crying little boy wearing tattered old clothes. Though at first he can't believe he's seen a ghost, Trace soon discovers that only he can see the child and that his own history may be the key that will let the dead rest. Trace by Pat Cummings is a story about this ghost coming to Trace for a reason and for Trace and the ghost helping one another.